Before jumping in, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads. Caring for houseplants can be especially difficult if you've got some curious kittens running around. A lot of houseplants are considered toxic to animals, but we wanted to set the record straight and let you know that you can have the best of both worlds. We've picked out a collection of our favorite indoor houseplants that won't harm your furry family members. The first two plants on our list are within the Calathea family. Both the rattlesnake Calathea and the prayer plant Calathea are non-toxic to your pets. They're both vibrant and colorful with unique foliage. These plants are trickier to care for than other houseplants, but if their needs are met, they can be very rewarding. Be sure to place your Calatheas in a window that receives bright indirect sunlight. Be careful that they aren't receiving too much sun or direct light, as this may result in scorched leaves. Both Calathea varieties prefer well-draining, moist soil, so it's important to establish a regular watering routine. They experience the most active growth during the summer, which is when you should water them the most. Our best tip is to never let the soil dry out completely. Be sure to keep your Calatheas away from drafts and cold air vents as they prefer temperatures between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Even with their picky care routine, Calatheas are the perfect houseplant to have around your fur babies because they are non-toxic and harmless if chewed. Our next plant on the non-toxic list is quite a popular pick for indoor growers. The spider plant is one of the easiest houseplants to care for, and its stringy look has captured the hearts of plant lovers everywhere. Spider plants are great if your home doesn't receive a lot of light. They do best in light shade or bright indirect light. Direct sunlight will be too harsh for the spider plant's foliage and may burn them. Spider plants grow best in slightly moist soil, but make sure it's not soggy. Overwatering can lead to root rot, so don't go overboard. We usually let the top layer of soil dry out before watering again. We recommend repotting your spider plants every two to three years, preferably in the springtime. You can also choose to divide mature plants into separate smaller plants from their pups. They make great gifts for family or friends, but most importantly, they won't harm your pets if they decide to take a little taste. Our next plant is probably one of the most unique looking houseplants on the market right now. The Palea, also known as the Chinese money plant or pancake plant, is different than any other plant you've seen before. Its coin-shaped foliage gives this plant major personality. Palaeas prefer medium to bright indirect sunlight. To keep your plant looking full, you can rotate it periodically to ensure equal light on all sides. When choosing a soil for your Palea, make sure that it's well draining. A good option is the Perfect Plants Organic Potting Mix that we specially mix here on the nursery. Allow the soil to dry out almost completely between waterings. You'll notice the leaves beginning to droop when it's in need of some H2O. The Palea goes into dormancy in the fall and winter months, but during the spring and summer, you can encourage new growth with monthly fertilization. We also recommend repotting yearly every spring. Finally, the last pet safe plant is the ponytail palm tree. It's easy to see where this funky little plant gets its name. It's extremely low maintenance as long as it has enough light. Ponytail palms love full sun or at least bright indirect sunlight. A south facing window would be perfect for this plant. We recommend using a succulent soil for this plant as it is native to semi-desert areas. It prefers sandy soil and you can add our peat moss for extra richness. You should treat your ponytail palm like a succulent, so only water it about once a month. It stores water in its thick trunk, so make sure you aren't overwatering. Even though it's slow growing, they can reach up to six to eight feet tall when grown indoors, and who doesn't want a mini tree in their house? Both you and your pets will love it. We want you to comment your favorite pet safe houseplants below. We're always looking to add more to the collection. Be sure to follow us on social media, tag us in your plant posts, and until next time, happy planting.